What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Kev's Kitchen. Did you miss me? I missed you. I apologize for the delay. I actually filmed an episode a few weeks ago. I really didn't like how it came out, so I scrapped it. This was supposed to follow that episode, um, but obviously that didn't happen. So what I'm gonna do is film that other one on a redo in maybe a week and then roll out the videos a little closer together than I normally would. Anyway, today I got a quick and easy recipe for you and we're gonna get right into it. So today, we're gonna to make salsa chicken. It's a really simple dish, and we're gonna use the Instant Pot. My buddy Nate, if you're out there watching, this episode is for you. Anybody who has an Instant Pot at home, or even a crock pot works too, um, this is a quick and easy recipe for you to follow. You should not mess this up. If you do, you know what I tell you, just give up, all right, at everything you try in life. So anyway, what you're gonna to need today Chicken breast, uh, this is a little over two pounds. Two pounds is usually what you need. Salt, pepper, I'm using a little extra seasoning. That's just me because I like it to be a little spicy and this is gonna make it just a tad bit spicier. Salsa, I don't care what you use, what brand, this is Walmart. I told you we live in the hood, as you can tell. So anyway, um, we're gonna use a Walmart salsa today. You're only gonna need like a cup or so, maybe two cups, something like that. That is the traditional recipe right there. What I have added over the years that we've been making this at the house, um, tequila. Today is Terramana. I try not to use too much because this is the last bottle I have. Um, normally I use Milagro for the cooking and taking shots, um, both delicious. But anyway, we're gonna use a little bit of tequila, half a lime. Yes, this is a whole lime. You're only gonna use half. Remember that, please, half. So, you don't need a lot of prep. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of the seasoning. Um, the reason I stress a little bit of salt is because there's gonna be salt in the salsa as well. So it's not that hard, all right? I have three pieces of chicken breast here and I'm just going to make sure that I get enough salt on them. This is sea salt. Got pepper. Move that out the way. And we're gonna get that honey adobo or adobo honey uh, seasoning, spice allergy, Derek Wolf's line. Highly recommended. I'm not gonna do too much because, like I said, we're gonna throw it in some salt. We're gonna throw the salsa over it, so it's gonna give it most of the flavor. I'm gonna turn these over. Quick uh, rule of thumb when you're working with uh, chicken, you know, I didn't show you show myself putting this in here but um wash your fucking hands all right guys it's covid season any season you should just be washing your hands when you touch raw shit clean up clean up is important like i said i'm not gonna do too much salt it looks like a lot because of the the uh you know grinder but it's really not a lot um if you really wanted a piece of chicken like that without adding anything you'd need a lot more salt to really even penetrate that bad boy pause anyway there's a little bit more like i said we don't need to overdo it all right so now i told you that this was a little over two pounds so we're going to use two cups of salsa here i already poured one in there um if you have less you obviously don't need as much but you want to make sure that it gets covered right so we got that Take your tongs, kind of just spread it around a little bit. Make sure that chicken gets covered by it. It's not hard. Move that out the way to get a better view. Up next, what we're gonna do is my favorite part. Half a lime, please. Now, I may be talking bullshit right now, but my theory is that the lime and the uh, tequila work as a tenderizer. I don't know that to be true or false. I am not a chef. I'm just your everyday hood cook. But uh, that's my theory. And I don't measure to a little bit, maybe about a shot, shot and a half. And that's all you have to do. That's this is the Instant Pot. Yours might look a little different. I don't know what model is out right now. All I did was close the lid. You shouldn't need two people for that. Um, make sure your vent is closed. 
self-explanatory. You don't want it steaming out before it's cooked. All we're gonna do, now I don't use this a lot, so that's just a disclaimer, right? So I'm not gonna tell you how to do any of these other buttons over here, but we're gonna hit manual. We're gonna go up to 10 minutes. That's all you need. You're not gonna touch it. That's it. All right, we're back. It's been cooking for like 20 something minutes. Um, now I know I said 10, 10 is just the instant pot timer. There's a certain part where it's like the high pressure is 10 minutes or whatever. It's been cooling down. I'm not gonna leave it in too long. I don't want it to overcook, all right? Instant pot safety. Don't put your face over this spot, all right? I'm gonna open it. It's nothing to drain or nothing to come out because I don't know why. But anyway, we're gonna check it out right now. All right, so here we have it. This is what your salsa chicken is gonna look like in there. As you can see, it's still, you know, still hot from the cook. I'm gonna pull a piece out and start shredding it. And then after we shred it, just gonna throw it right back in here. And now what we're doing is just shredding it. As you can see, I got my little trusty bear claws. It breaks pretty easy. Chicken breast is always gonna be a little bit, you know, tougher than the rest of your cook. So that's why I had to take those extra steps and trying to add stuff to hopefully tenderize it but as you can see it's fully cooked it's nice and juicy um and just a little side note you know i always tell you clean as you go this plate is the one that you saw earlier that the chicken was on i washed it had a whole you know 20 something minutes of downtime chilled made sure i clean up that's why you don't see anything on the counter anymore even made a drink with that terramana so anyway i'm gonna finish shredding this and i'll get back to you in a little bit I just finished shredding the last piece, so I know I didn't do this on the last uh, episode because that salmon was too pretty to mess up. But for those of you who like the old school Kev's Kitchen, here we go. Here's the taste test. Mm. Bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Two things. Damn, I'm good. And then, damn, that's good. Uh, actually, three things. Uh, all the old school Kev, Kev's Kitchen fans would know that right there, it's butter. All right, so there you have it. Very simple recipe, salsa chicken. Now, I told you you could use a crock pot if you have one and you don't have an instant pot. On the crock pot, it's going to take longer, four hours on high, same exact setup. Um, the only thing I would say is if for some reason you're on that college budget or you just never heard of spices before and you don't have salt and pepper, with any basic stuff, garlic at home, anything like that, you only need the salsa. It will do the same job. But I highly recommend making sure you have the tequila in there and the lime because that's the game changer. And tonight we're using this for burrito bowls, but you could do tacos. You could do whatever the hell you want with it. So anyway, I got my burrito bowl right here. One taste of Kev's burrito bowls, I promise you'll never go back to Chipotle. We got the creamy salsa verde sauce, the queso, sour cream on top, little hot sauce, little cotija cheese. There's my shredded chicken down all up in there. Trust me, I put a lot too. But anyway, I appreciate you checking this video out. I hope you can utilize this in your weekly recipes. Um, it's not hard. Like I said, I try to give you foolproof things to make that way you can exist in this world as a normal functioning human being. So try out salsa chicken, any chance you have, mix it up, do whatever. If you do something different that works for you, throw it in the comments, let me know. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my drink and my dinner. Cheers.